What's up everybody, Castaway Jay here. Today revisiting a spot that we built probably a couple years ago. And we're gonna try to rebuild it today because it's cracking and breaking away pretty bad at the top here. The whole thing's pretty much falling apart. We're gonna try to make it a little bit more mellow and maybe get the transition all the way up to the top of it. And uh, the first thing that I need to do to start off with is to get a sledgehammer and break the old one. So the new concrete will stick because otherwise it's not going to stick very well. Start at least. We did a good job. It's tough. That's what I was just saying about the Portland. Now we got broke up pretty good, so we got to cut some forms, get some forms on the side of it now. Whew, that wasn't easy. Okay, we got our little makeshift forms set up now. We're going to have to just kind of do the transition as we go along. This is just kind of to hold the concrete in place and screw this together. Now we've got to add a little bit more fill to this to make it more mellow. What we're doing now is we're chipping the bottom up so it'll be smoother at the bottom because I brought my grinder to um, cut a trench at the bottom and I forgot my extension cord so we're having to do it the hard way so the bottom won't chip up once I we put the concrete in so you can see we got the bottom chipped out pretty good so the concrete will have something to stick to, make like a little trench. So I normally do with the my grinder with the. Uh, okay, we got it really close to being ready to pour now. Had to scavenge some stuff around here to shovel in for fill, and got the bottom chipped out pretty good. So now I'm about to start mixing, and um, we've got some of this stuff I brought again today. The bonding adhesive. I'm going to put the bonding adhesive at the bottom where we chipped out the concrete. I'm going to put some at the top also so it'll stick better. Okay, I want to show you all this because there's no water available here. Um, I got this old fabric softener jugs here and I rinsed them out and I put some water in here and then I've got these um, five gallon buckets from uh, the pool that I put some water in. So it's just, you know, it's a way you can recycle some old stuff to carry water in. Got a couple other uh, fabric softener jugs full of water here also. Okay, so we're about to start mixing this wheelbarrow here. And it's kind of the same mix that I did on my last video where we were doing the bank to curb. It's gonna be um, this quick creep, quick, I can't even say it, quick creep concrete mix. And it's gonna be one part Portland cement and then one part sand. And of course, um, mix in water until the right consistency. Well, we're mixing it together, we got quickcrete, uh, one part sand, and one part Portland. Add water as we go along. Got my adhesive at the bottom. We chipped out the holes now. We're just kind of starting from the bottom and working our way up now. Okay, 
Okay, now I've got my magnesium float and I'm keeping it dipped in water here. And I'm kind of going over this, just smoothing it out. Does have to be perfect right now because we haven't got all the concrete on here yet. Just try to get it flattened out really good. some of this adhesive at the top here so it'll hopefully stick better. Alright, this thing is getting pretty close. Um, I had a little bit too much water and I added a little bit too much of this um, concrete bonding so it's kind of soft at the top. So what we got to do is we got to let it set up a little bit more so we can work with it a little bit better at the top and get it closer to that lip because it's really close to the lip right now can see in this video so we don't really lack too much on it all right we're getting close now this is the final we waited a little while let it set up a little bit and we're smoothing it out one last time we got it built up where it's pretty close to the top now where it's going to be about like hitting a curb at the top sprayed a little bit of water on it to smooth it out all right Let's put the finishing touches on it, smooth it out one more time. So now we just have to wait a couple days, come back and skate it. Looks pretty good. Okay, it's been a couple days since I came back to check everything. And it doesn't look like anybody has messed with it. Um, several of my friends have sent me pictures of it the last couple days and it was looking pretty good. But it's kind of wet still and the business right by it is open and i was going to try to take the forms down tonight get a couple of tricks and i got some paint that kind of matches this wall to kind of camouflage it and um you know hopefully the business owners and the uh, shops around here won't mind as much if it's the same color as this wall so i'm gonna stick it out for a few more minutes and then try to decide what i'm gonna do Okay, so I literally waited here forever for everyone to leave the businesses around here because I don't want to blow the spot up. It's kind of wet, so I'm hoping I don't slide out and kill myself, but I'm going to try to get a couple of tricks on this thing before I leave and then probably paint it later because I don't think it's really dry enough to paint tonight. One thing that I noticed about this spot that I wasn't sure about is it's lit up at night. So it's going to be good for a, a night spot too. There's a chance of rain like every day this week. This is probably my best window to get in here and um, get a couple of tricks out of it. stoked on this guy and how it turned out um, I was actually able to get a couple of tricks on it even though it was damp and scary the run up was wet and even though it's lit up out here there's still kind of a shadow so it makes it kind of freaky but it's, it was really fun building this and skating it and thanks for tuning in everyone get out there and build something and skate